How's it going YouTubers, Cornwolf here. Thank you for joining me for another video today. And today we've got the final uh, build and tune for this series uh, for the AMC racers. Um, and this time uh, we've got this lovely Dodge here. Um, it is to be exact, uh, the Dodge Challenger RT from 1970. Um, and if you just see in the top right hand corner there, um, I was actually limited yet again on PI for the final race um, because of the, the points I'd accumulated and I reached a certain threshold. Uh, so I was down 20 PI there. Um, unfortunately, because uh, Filthy Pile was busy when we were doing this, I didn't actually get a, uh, a paint for this one. Um, but I left it stock and I thought it looks quite nice stock um, there. So what I'm going to do is take you straight to the building tune. Um, conversions, we'll start there as always. Uh, the engine swap, uh, we've got the 5.7 litre V8. Drivetrain is stock. And the aspiration conversion is the centrifugal supercharger. Um, air filter is stock. Fuel system is stock. Ignition is sport. Exhaust is a race. Camshaft is stuck. Valves is stuck. Displacement uh, is the race engine block. Pistons and compression is stuck. Centrifugal supercharger is race. Uh, the intercooler and the oil cooling are stuck. I'll just check the flywheel. That's also stuck. So I don't need to worry about them, they're always stuck unless I state otherwise. Um, I'll go through these anyway, but these are always race, so race brakes, race springs, race front anti-roll bars, race rear anti-roll bars, roll cage is race, and the weight reduction is also race, full race. Uh, drive line, the clutch is stuck. Transmission uh, is street. Drive line is stock. It takes up a bit too much for trying to take that weight off. Differential is race. Tires and rims. Uh, the tire compound we've got stock on here. Front width. Uh, the front width is 245. So I've got one up on there, and the rear width is 315. So we're getting the extra grip in there and the extra turning ability. Um, the rims we've got on here are the, just the stock stock rims, so no change to the rims. Uh, the front bumper is a race wing, uh, sorry, Forza race wing, not Forza bumper, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the rear Forza race wing for the back, and we've got no amendments to the bonnet because it puts one in. Slightly cool, but slightly annoying. Uh, bumpers there um, so I'm just going to quickly go into this um, engine swap here um, so after this build here you should have a C480 um, we've got speed of 6.0 handling of 4.3 acceleration of 8.3 launch of 8.0 and braking of 4.6 you should have 503 horsepower torque of 499 weight of 2921 pounds front of 52% and a displacement of 6.0 litres. So we'll go into the tune. Um, so the tyres here, uh, we've got 28.5 in the front and 29.0 in the rear. Gearing, um, because we've got the street box in there, uh, you can't make any adjustments, so that's as it is. Alignment, for the front we've got negative 3.0, the rear we've got negative 3.1. Uh, the tow, we've got the front of 0 0.1 and the rear of negative 0 0.1 and the angle of 6 degrees. Anti-roll bars, we've got 20.79 in the front and the rear we've got 15.66. Springs in the front, we've got 573.4, the rear we've got 48.2. And the ride height is all the way to the deck of 5.9 in the front and rear. Dampening, uh, we've got 8.6 in the front and rear. Uh, for the rebound and the bump stiffness we've got 2.6 in the front and rear as well. Aero we've got 100 and we've got 190 in the rear. Uh, the reason for taking that extra 10 off there um, is there's more straights on this corner, high speed, 
high speed corners and high speed straights so you don't need an awful lot of rear downforce you mainly need it in the front to get your, your front end uh, diving into those corners nicely um, so we've taken a little bit off there to give us that extra bit of speed braking we've got 47 percent 25 125 percent sorry uh, brake pressure there so i've upped that a little bit just to uh, give myself that little extra edge differential we've got 70 percent and eight percent um, so if we just have a quick look on the left hand side um, we've got um, the benchmark um, and 0 to 60 is 5.032 seconds 0 to 100 is 9.391 and a top speed of 163.1 miles per hour um, I'm just going to quickly uh, just go to rivals and I'm just going to show you that um, I got quite a nice time on this one this was Road America so this is what it's been tuned for um, and let me just see so I got, uh, I'm in 816th place with a time of 2 minutes 28.710 uh, and as I'm sure most people on here will agree, um, so if I just go to near me, um, anybody below me is going to be slightly annoyed um, because I've got obviously quicker than them because I'm above them and with 20 pi less. Um, so I'm in the top 1,000. I probably could get an even quicker time with a little bit more tweaking to my tune. Um, but to put a muscle car with 20 pi less in that, I'm proud of myself. If we just quickly go to my friends list and we'll just have a quick look at Blue, who, ah, oh, okay, he's, um, he's done something else since. Um, but let's have a look. Uh, we've got... Um, Catanza, who's also part of the racing league, he's in 326 uh, with the same car, so he's a little bit better driver than me, um, and uh, he's got even less PI than me. Um, you've got Stella Stig, um, who's got the same as Catanza there, um, two, 227 for him um, in the Impaler, um, and you've got Jade Viper, um, he's actually got 500, and so is Rock and Roller Outlaw. Um, but I think for people, even even Coleman here, um, who's who's one of my subs, but also um, did really well in the race, for him to be getting those times and for any of us to be getting these times and getting them into nearest time at the top thousand, Coleman's not quite there. Um, but for the rest of us that are um, into less than 500 pi and we've got them in the top 1000, I think that is fantastic. Um, so it just goes to show you that you don't need um, full PI to get to those top um, to those those top um, uh, places in the rivals leaderboard. Um, it's all about your tune. Um, I'm tempted to add the extra 20 in here just to see how quick I could get it around this track. Um, this is something I might revisit at another point. Uh, this is one of those cars I'm not going to revisit because it's got a lot of the things that I um, have learnt in it. Um, but yeah, in all, uh, fantastic. It has been a fantastic se series. Um, unfortunately, I had to miss that one, that one race. A um, little bit gutted about it, but that's that's real life where you can't always make every single race. Um, don't forget to check out Stella Stig's forum. Don't forget to check out his channel as well because um, on the 16th, I just need to check that date, but the 16th of August, uh, it is uh, Series 2 and it's all about JDM. Uh, so please do come and join us. The more people that join us, uh, the more exciting and, and fun it is for everyone. Yeah, it is the 16th, so we've got two weeks. Um, and it just makes it so much more interesting um, and you'll have so much fun. Um, this next one, I don't think we're running with a handicap system, so everyone's at, at B class doing various tracks. Um, there are a few um, lovely surprises there and things that you can and can't do between each race. Um, but but please do come and check it out if you if you're a fan of racing regardless of your ability we have good fun we, we share uh, information between each other because at the end of the day if i give you a tune um, and you're racing against me and you beat me fair play it's with my tune but in the same vein if i give you a tune and i'm doing quicker then it helps you improve your actual driving as opposed to your tuning ability 
Um, some people are really good at tuning, not so good at racing, and the other way around. Um, and, and some people just have the whole package. Um, so I shall uh, I shall leave you there for today. Uh, let me know in the comments below um, if you'd like me to revisit another tune or if there's another car you'd like me to do. Um, I've got a few um, interesting things in the pipeline, uh, so please keep checking out the channel. Thank you for all your um, all your subs, your likes and your mentions and all that. Um, even if you don't want to do any of those things, please come back and keep checking out the channel. Uh, so until